Hi students. Today I wanted to read another nonfiction book. This one is called Martin Luther King Jr. Day. This book was written by Clara Sella and Gail Saunders Smith. This is a nonfiction book, so it has information that we will learn. I see a table of contents. The table of contents is something that you find in nonfiction books. It tells us some of the smaller topics that we'll be reading about. Hello, Martin Luther King Jr. Day is on page four. How it began is on page 10. Let's celebrate is on page 16. Hello, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a brave leader he helped lead the Civil Rights Movement. Americans honor him on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So this is a photograph of him. Photographs are something that we find in nonfiction books. They were taken with cameras. That's why this book does not have an illustrator. Martin Luther King Jr. Day is a national holiday. It is on the third Monday of January. Government offices and schools are closed that day. Dr. King dreamed of a world without racism. People still celebrate that dream today by helping others and by working for peace. How it began. Martin Luther King Jr. grew up in a time of segregation. Segregation means separated. Black people had fewer rights than white people. Let's look at this photograph and see how it helps us understand the text. Public swimming pool, white only. So if you were black, were you allowed to use that swimming pool? Uh-uh. Here we see a sign that says drinking fountain, white and colored, and there's arrows. So there would have been two water fountains. And if you were white, you got to use one. And if you were black, you had to use a different one. I see a sign that says restrooms, white only. So you couldn't share bathrooms either. Same thing for showers. Here I see a sign that says colored, seated in rear. So if you were black, you had to sit all the way in the back. You weren't allowed to sit up front. So segregated meant separated. And black people had fewer rights than white people. That's not right. It's not okay. Dr. King worked to change unfair laws through peaceful ways. Some people disagreed with him and in 1968, he was shot and killed. Martin Luther King Jr. Day was first celebrated in 1986. Across the country, people walked in peace marches and listened to speeches. Let's celebrate. It's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. How will you celebrate? Get to know your neighbors. Have a block party or a neighborhood walk. How does this illustration help me understand the text? You're right, it's not an illustration. What do we call it when it's taken with a camera? A photograph. Okay. So how does this photograph taken with a camera help us understand this text where it says, get to know your neighbors? I see a little boy with a white arm and a man with a black arm and they're holding hands. They're friends. Help others. Volunteer to walk a neighbor's dog. Offer to rake leaves or shovel the sidewalk. 
collect supplies for your school. So showing kindness to everyone. Make the world a better place for the future. Plant trees, pick up litter. Follow Dr. King's example and treat others kindly and fairly. Sometimes in a nonfiction book, we'll have a section in the back that gives us more resources that we could read in order to learn more about the same topic. The topic of this book was Martin Luther King Jr. And so these books will also tell us more about Martin Luther King Jr. This is an internet site. You can go here and find a lot of different websites to give you more information about the topic of Martin Luther King Jr. Nonfiction books have a glossary and an index in the back. A glossary tells us some of the special words and what they mean. We saw the word celebrate. To celebrate means to honor someone or something on a special day. So a glossary is like a dictionary for this nonfiction book. The index is a little different. It tells us where to find some of the special words. So it talked about the word activities on page 8, 14, 16, and 18. If we wanted to find the word dreams, it would be on page 8. So the index tells us what page they used that word on. The glossary, it tells us what that word means. Thank you for reading Martin Luther King Jr. Day with me today. Can you tell me the topic of this book? Could you list some of the key details that you learned about the topic?